I might just be stuck in Mexico. Hi, my name is Alejandro. Four years ago, I left the Canadian canals and sailed down to the Caribbean. Join me as every winter I explore its beaches, wildlife, amazing people and vibrant cultures. We will dive in to explore the marine life and keep looking for that perfect coconut. Subscribe as the adventure continues. Hi guys, it's March 19th and I just rented a car here in Puerto Aventuras. I'm going to do a few errands. First, I'm going to hit up the immigration office. I want to find out what they have to say about exiting and re-entering Mexico, just in case I leave and where they stand with me coming back if I need to. Then I'm going to the dentist to remove my stitches. I uh, had my wisdom tooth removed uh, about a week ago, all four of them, so I got a few stitches to be removed. Then I'm going to go buy some materials for the yoga platform and I'm going to Cancun to pick up my batteries. My Trojan batteries are ready and that was the last major component before I could finally leave. So I'm super excited for that. And yeah, I'll try to film as much as I can doing all of this. This is the entrance to the immigration office. Pretty fancy. Let's go upstairs. It's 9.10 and I think it's going to take a while. There's a huge lineup in here already. It only took 20 minutes. It wasn't that bad of a wait. They're just being really cautious in there. Um, everyone is staying pretty clean and they're sanitizing. They're wearing masks, so I, I was pretty happy about that. Um, so I had applied for a temporary resident visa uh, maybe two months ago and I wasn't allowed to leave Mexico till the process was finished. Um, so what my option now is to apply for an exit and return permit for 60 days and that's what I'm going to go and do. I think that's my best option. Let's go to the dentist and get these stitches removed. It should only take 20 minutes. Yeah, the doctor says yes. 10 minutes later and I got these four stitches removed. It's pretty fast. The doctors are amazing here at Dental Spa. I just left the dentist. Um, always so funny in there. Everyone's so nice and always in a good mood. I uh, really recommend the Dental Spa. Really cool. Uh, now we're gonna head for some seafood. Or some veggie restaurant. I'm super hungry. Forgot to mention I'm making a stop at uh, Resinas del Caribe. It's like the local resin, fiberglass, and paint store. So this is it behind me. I'll show you guys the supplies I'm getting. To Cancun, baby. Let's go. I just made it to Cancun to make my battery swap. Let me show you where they're at. Here are the old ones that I dropped off, the L16's HAC. Those are dead. And here are the new ones. This is what I found in stock here, the L16's PAC. Okay guys, now time to head back to Puerto Aventuras. <laughs> The 
benefits of this marina is that there's a golf cart to take you everywhere. It's pretty sweet. Hi guys, today is March 23rd and I'm on my way to immigration for the second time to apply for the exit and re-entry visa. So it should be interesting to see what the situation is like there uh, four days after I was there. So yeah, let's go for a ride and check it out. about to go upstairs to immigration. Let's see how uh, bad it is this morning. There was a bit of a weird vibe in there, I gotta say. Everyone is making sure they're far from each other and uh, no one's really smiling. Everyone's pretty serious. But I submitted my application, uh, but I asked her, when are you guys open till? And she said she didn't know. So she said, should be ready Thursday. But if they do close before that, I might just be stuck in Mexico. Uh, hopefully not though. Uh, I'm gonna come back Thursday really early. Or I just really, really hope they don't close their offices. Otherwise, uh, I've gotta wait it out here. Antibacterial gel is sold out in Mexico, so I thought I'd make my own before I head out to Playa. I'm gonna use uh, alcohol, aloe vera, and lavender. So all we have to do is fill the bottle uh, two thirds of the way with alcohol, one third aloe vera, and then your favorite essential oil. Mine happens to be lavender. So I'm going to add maybe 10 drops, just give it a good shake, and voila, we're set with antibacterial gel. It's March 26th now, and I'm back at immigration uh, to get my exit permit, so here we go. I'm here armed with a mask and some sanitizer, so we're good. And we're gonna keep two meters away. Let's go. Yep, this is when the officer sees the camera. <laughs> the uh, immigration officer was a little bit pissed that I was filming, um, but uh, once I was inside, they were super nice. Everyone was super cautious though. They uh, were sitting every other seat. I got my uh, exit paperwork so I can uh, leave Mexico if I choose to. Uh, now I have to do some last minute shopping to prep the boat and see if I can go cruising. I need to take a break. I've been biking with my laundry uh, and from Playa with all the stuff I had to do. So maybe I'll just show you what I did all day after immigration. There's my bag of laundry, uh, a new hat that I bought. I really need one, I lost my last one. The last bit of uh, frame for the yoga platform. I got some incense that I really needed. It was really low. My camera. And this is my sexy wheels. Uh, I'm going back to the boat now. I have to figure out my sat phone situation, Navionics. Uh, how to recharge my phone to get more data. And yeah, look for a weather window and clean up the boat, and that's it. 
So we'll see you guys in the next video. I uh, don't know where I'm going yet. I still have to wait for last minute border news. So yeah, to be determined. But I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching. Please join next time as I meet new crew and we sail down to Tulum. You want to say hello, Nick? Yeah, hola. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nick. I'm from New Zealand and I'm excited to go on the boat for a little while.